Alrighty. Well, today's little children's message I pulled up off the internet is called God's Love is Unmeasurable, or Immeasurable, I should say. So, I want to start out with um, asking you about a popular Bible verse, Nolan. Do you, are you familiar with the Bible verse that starts out, For God so loved the world? Well, I was thinking about it when I was looking over some notes and things, and I thought of that Bible verse, and I was wondering, how could we measure God's love? Because He just loves us so much. So I brought some things that I measure with at home. I brought one of these. I brought this. Everybody should recognize it. And I brought one of these. So, Nolan, if I was going to do some baking at home, I'm going to make, what's your favorite cookie? Snickerdoodles, that's my son's favorite too. So if I was making some snickerdoodles and I had to measure maybe the sugar or the flour or maybe the milk that goes in the recipe, which tool, measuring tool, would I use to measure? You're right, I'd use that measuring cup. So, in the Bible, it talks about measuring God's love. And the Bible verse is found in Psalms, chapter 23, verse 1. It says, the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, my cup runneth over. His love is so great, you can't measure it in a cup. It would run out of that cup. So, do you think I'd want to use that to measure God's love? Nope, way too small. So, let's look at this measuring tool. If I wanted to measure, well, I shouldn't say that. I want you to pick the measuring tool. If I wanted to measure, um, say I'm building something and I had to measure the length of something, which tool would I use? Yeah, it's called a tape measure. Now, how much, how long is this tape measure? Let's see, Nolan, come pull this out for me. Keep pulling until it comes just a little stop. Oh, it's longer than I thought. Okay. 25 feet, did you say? Uh, okay. So, that, lo that measure's pretty long, doesn't it? All right. Thank you. <laughs> so, that measuring tool reminded me of another Bible verse. And this Bible verse comes from Psalms chapter 108, verse 4. If God's love is higher than the heavens... Do you think we could measure, use that measuring tool, the tape measure, to measure clear to the heavens? We couldn't. That's pretty far up in the sky, isn't it? So I have one measuring tool left. What did I do with it? In my bag. Do you know what this is? A watch. Hopefully nobody's looking at their watch back there saying, this children's message is taking too long. <laughs> They're getting, they hungry and they want to go home. As long as you want. <laughs> So that measures time. Now there's a Bible verse in the Bible. Let me find here. Psalms 103, chapter 17. It says the Bible tells us that God's love is from everlasting to everlasting. Which means forever to infinity. Could we measure everlasting with this watch? No. He couldn't measure that long. So let me go back to the verse I started out with. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. How can we measure love like that? We can't. You're right. It's immeasurable. We can't measure it. So what I hope you learn from today is that God's love is unmeasurable. And I want you to understand that his love is really wide, really long, really deep, clear up to the heavens. So maybe we can't measure it, but I hope you can experience it. We want to experience his love. So let's say a little prayer. Dear God, we thank you for your love. A love so great that you gave your one and only son so that we could have eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thanks for coming up, Nolan.